competencies. Okay, we have also provided a rubric here so that you can actually check, okay, uh, and do some self-assessment whether you are meeting what we need to see in your assessment plan. Okay, so these are some of the rubrics. And um, this document is actually going to be provided um, to you. They're going to provide you a particular um, form. Okay, and then in that particular form, all of these guidelines, including this set of criteria, are going to be included so that you will be guided. Okay, next. Let's now talk about um, the tasks that you are going to do for the asynchronous session later on. So this is what we call an individual action plan. And um, the organizers are going to um, send the link where you will accomplish um, this individual action plan. Okay? So in this individual action plan, you will now appraise your weakness or limitation in the assessment competencies required of teachers. So again, these assessment competencies are the ones that we have presented this morning. And um, these are the specific items that Dr. David have shown in his presentation. And then um, based on your personal appraisal on the current experiences and the results of the pre-training survey, what do you think are some of your weaknesses and limitations? So I think you need also a, um, a, an article showing these are uh, assessment competencies so that you can start reflecting. So you have to um, describe your expectations on the different modules in the professional development program. So there's actually going to be five modules. So what would be some of your expectations? You'll have to put in, okay, later on in the form. And then you will have to enumerate and discuss specific actions or strategies in order to address your self-appraised weaknesses in assessing student learning. When we go through this particular um, sample later on, let me um, request those teachers in this particular uh, in our group now um, to um, start thinking about what are some of the strategies that you will do in order to enhance yourself on each of the assessment competencies. So get ready. So I will be asking you one by one later on. Okay. So when you accomplish the form, these are some of the informations that you are going to do later. So put in your personal information later on in the form. And then you will start to do your self-appraisal. So when you do your self-appraisal, okay, so the assessment competencies are found in the first column and you will be rating yourself in a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, so um, the lowest rating is extremely incompetent if you feel that you're extremely incompetent and 10 if you are extremely competent. And then describe... For that corresponds to your rating, put a description of the specific scale that you need improvement on. Okay? Then um, it goes the same instruction for the rest of the assessment competencies. And then the third part would be expectations, okay, on the professional development program. So like what I have mentioned a while ago, that we will be running about five modules. And what are some of your expectations, okay, for each of the module? So we'll have, we have module one, which is a review of assessment in learning, and this is the introduction. And then we go to module two, which is assessment of learning, uh, which is the framework and guidelines from, the, from DepEd. Module three would be on the Philippine K-12 curriculum and the ILSA. Module four would be adapting assessment principles and practices to the emerging literacies. And uh, module five is monitored application of the assessment practice in the classroom setting. Okay, and then um, um, next part would be the personal strategies that you will be using, okay, to improve your assessment competencies. Okay, let's have a sample of um, this one, okay, among the participants um, that we have in this particular uh, room. Okay, I'm pulling out the names of the participants. Okay, it says here, okay, to enumerate and explain at least three ways where 
you can use and will use your expected learning from the five modules, okay, in your classroom practice of assessing student learning. Where will you use it? Okay, so I'll be um, calling um, some of the participants here in this um, room so that they can give their answer. Okay, so do we have any volunteer from the teachers here? Okay, let's start with Arlene. Arlene. Arlene Cosido. Hello, Arlene. Okay, Arlene is, seems to be sleeping. Okay, um, Isaiah, Lloyd. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, go ahead. Um, can you give me at least um, one way where you can use and will use your expected learning from the five modules here mm. in the, so here are the five modules again. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. mm. Review of assessment and learning, assessment, learning, in, uh, then Philippine K-12 curriculum, adapting assessment principles. Yeah. How do you uh, use sir, this? Uh, I'm going to use this, sir, as a useful assessment. I'm going to provide uh, corrective instruction and give okay. students second chances to demonstrate their success and can improve their uh, instruction and help mm -hmm. them be better uh, to be master their, the, the competencies. Okay, yeah. Thank you, sir. I actually like your answer. Um, it gives us now an idea that you're using assessment to ensure student success. Because once we have information about what students can do and cannot do, we can further help our students so that they can become successful, okay, in the learning competencies that we're teaching them. Okay, thank you, um, Isaiah. Next, um, okay, Maris Maricel. Maricel Arong. Yes. Yeah, mm. go ahead. Same question. Maricel? Yes, sir. Um, uh, for this, uh, uh, I will be using this one for uh, in assessing and in evaluating the students because I believe that if the teacher can uh, or will uh, have the feel on how to evaluate students, then I think the performance of the students will be uh, better and will uh, mm. improve. Okay. okay, yeah. Now, yes. Yes, I uh, like your answer because um, you're giving the implication that when you go through the modules, our aim is for you to be able to implement and conduct quality assessment. And if your assessment is of quality, then we would be able Maming to... Salamat. See. At kung ikaw ay interesado ng mga bijong tulad nito, mangyaring suportahan ang channel na ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpindot ng like, Pag-share ng mga video at kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, please subscribe sa channel na ito at pindutin ang notification bell at piliin ang all upang maabisuhan ka para sa mga paparating pang mga video.